Beginning in the mid-1920s, an art movement characterized by strange and fantastic images became known as surrealism. The goal of these artists was to bring to life unconscious thoughts and dreams. Some surrealists invented games or unusual techniques to kickstart their imaginations. Decalcomania was a technique adapted by artist Oscar Dominguez. He applied paint to a piece of glass and either pressed it onto a canvas or placed a piece of paper over it and then lifted it away. Much like an ink blot test or searching cloud shapes for familiar forms, he'd look for hidden imagery in the pattern that developed and make that into a finished painting. This demonstration is going to show you a way to bring out your inner surrealist and experience decalcomania in a neat, colorful, and highly interactive way. I'm using a special type of color today, glue paint. It's easy to make. Simply open a bottle of glue and add some Blick liquid watercolor. The more you add, the more intense the color will be. You can stir that up with a craft stick or simply wait for it to saturate, turning the bottle occasionally to help it blend evenly. Now to make the print, fold a piece of Duralar film in half, crease it, and then reopen it. Then, squeeze glue paint on just the one side. Fold the film back over and use your fingers to spread the glue paint. Move it around, blend it. If I press hard enough, use my finger now, then I can make open areas like this. I could also use a rounded tool, such as the end of this paintbrush. Now, let's open it back up and view the print. The glue will dry transparent, so realize that the colors will dry more transparent also. Now, there's a couple of things you can do with it at this point. Dry it open like this, or turn it over and press it onto a piece of heavy, absorbent paper. I find that the patterns remain more defined if I allow it to dry, but if I press it onto the paper, I avoid having a puddle of wet glue lying around. Here's a couple of pieces that are dry. This is the piece that just dried onto the film, and this one was pressed onto paper. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference. Now I can peel the film away from this one and reuse it, but this one will remain on the Duralar. Now, here's the fun part. Let's take a close look at the pattern that was created. If you use your imagination, you can search and find shapes that might remind you of faces, branches, animals, just about anything. This little spot right here looks like an eye to me. Now, using a fine point marker, Trace the contours of the shape and define them. It helps to turn the page around and look at it from different angles. And if I'm having trouble finding certain shapes within the pattern, I just start tracing a contour. Sometimes the image just develops on its own. I can use a variety of light and dark markers, and this will place emphasis on the images that I want others to see more clearly. Let's take a look at a finished piece with just the contours traced. And here it is now with some surrealistic images found within the contours. I hope you've enjoyed this surreal technique, and if you'd like to learn more about decalcomania, the materials that I've used, and teaching standards, there's a free downloadable PDF at dickblick.com.